warm welcome to Anuradha Vedic Astrology. Today, we are going to talk about exalted planets in medical astrology. But before that, a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing to our YouTube and Spotify channels and writing in your comments and suggestions there. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. And remember to press the bell icon so that you can get the updates ASAP. Whenever we are talking about exalted planets, the first thing that enters our mind is good. It's going to give us a lot of good things. And it does give us a lot of good things. But if they are placed in 6, 8, 12 houses, they also give us a lot of not so good things. Why? Uh, or how does it uh, come from? From where does it come from? Well, the good thing, say Jupiter in the 6th house, exalted, will give a person a lot of wealth, lot of work throughout the life, ability to conquer a lot of competition. but it comes with its own set of problems. These problems are medical in nature. Mars in the 8th house, exalted. Yes, it will give you an energy to be there, to work hard and to overcome changes in life. But again, it will come with its set of problems. Sun exalted in the 3rd house makes you a warrior like no one else. But it will also show its reflections on your body. So, how do these planets work in medical astrology? It is a very strong fact that medically, when we are looking at a chart, we need to have a different perception as to when we are looking at the chart for other things or from other point of view. So, let us look at exalted planets in medical astrology. The first planet that we need to look at is Sun. Uh, if sun is exalted in the third house in the chart, in that case, it can give people spondylitis issues. It can give people broken arms because bones are also represented by the sun. It can give people a lot of heat deposits in the palms, uh, in the arms that can result in a lot of sunburn or acidity issues around this, frozen shoulders around the arms or the shoulders. Then, if it is exalted in the sixth house, well, there is nobody that you can vanquish better than your enemies. But it can also give you ulcer issues and it can also give you bilinious problems. Similarly, an exalted sun in the twelfth house can give you a lot of sore feet. There are people who have a lot of heat generated in their feet. And they have a lot of problem with that. So you can always check out in your charts whether you are undergoing these problems or not. An exalted moon is good. But if it's in the sixth house, then this moon, though exalted, can create problems by giving you hormonal issues. It can give you uh, problems with your water retention issues. And it can create problems with hormones in the body. It can also give gynec issues to ladies. Then, when we have an exalted Mars in the uh, third house, an exalted Mars in the third house, though, is also the Lagna Lord, but also aspects the sixth house and hence is very capable of creating a lot of issues around your shoulder region. It also can create issues for you around your pelvis region. Broken bones, mm, mm, fall and broken uh, problems in the hip joints, all these things can be very easily seen with this third Lord exalted Mars. And again, now when we talk about the eighth position of exalted Mars, that is for the Gemini Lagna, in that case, we can see that these people will have a lot of chronic disorders. Sometimes they are genetical and sometimes they are so much a part of life, like for instance for Albert Einstein. For Albert Einstein, one can uh, one knows that in Germany uh, he has a Rahu and Mars combined together in the sign of Capricorn. People can say that his Mars was already afflicted. He suffered 
for more than half of his life due to a lot of stomach bowel issues so this is very important to note that an exalted mars in the 8th house can create all these problems sudden deaths can also be predicted if there is an exalted mars in the 12th house when we talk about mercury in the 6th uh, house it's one of the best positions as far as my business is concerned i'll do an excellent business because i have a lot of uh, thought process or mentality which tells me that i am good at what i do an exalted mercury in the 12th house will give a person an ability to be very frugal with their expenses but in the 6th house this very exalted mercury can give a person a lot of skin issues uh, in the 6th house this exalted mercury can give a person uh, issues regarding the food also because it deals with all kind of food and a person can have problems while consuming and allergies are a very strong thing that you can see with mercury in the 12th in the 6th house an exalted mercury in the 12th house can give you a lot of nervous disorders which kind of seem to be uncurable because the shaking of the hands the um, involuntary and the movement a certain movements that a person has which can be very involuntary and yet can create a lot of havoc in a person's life they continue on for a long period in a person's life so this is what mercury can do when it is exalted and in 3 6 8 12 houses a jupiter classic example i have just given like in amitabh bachchan's chart it's exalted in the 6th house but look though it has given him a lot of money it's given him a lot of name and fame and survival in an industry which is ever changing for so many years yet we cannot overlook the fact that it has also given him a lot of diseases it has also given him a lot of liver problems that it typically represents it has also given him diabetes he has also written that he has suffered from hepatitis issues also so this jupiter though a benefic par excellence planet of value for amitabh bachchan's chart has also brought in a lot of strength in terms of diseases when we talk about an exalted venus in these houses they tend to give people stds that is sexually transmitted diseases so one needs to be careful there hormonal issues in both male and female and also problems relating to your private parts you can also have a lot of water diseases so one needs to be careful on those grounds finally we come to saturn how does saturn behave well saturn is known to give diseases it is the card so it wears and tears the body out over a period of time it uh, even if it is sitting on the lagna it does give people joint issues however i would like to point out that in the six exalted in the 6 8 12 houses this saturn does give you issues but if it's in the 8th house it will not give you that that strong problems as it were in the 8th house in any other chart so you can rest assured on that planet but it does give people major issues with joints with walking problems sometimes people can be bedridden due to a very strong saturn do let us know how you found this video and we'll continue on for more in medical astrology till we meet with you again stay safe thank you